everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and I was looking around for one of these integrated keyboards and trackpads the other day, and I came across this one from Logitech. This is the K830, and I bought this for about $79 on Amazon. A really nice all-in-one design with a full-size keyboard. Uh, nice to put on a lap. It's not very thin, but it is very rigid as a result of not being very thin, so I think they've done a nice job in uh, finding the right kind of form factor here. So really nice solid keyboard, nice full-size keys, very nice to type on, actually. In fact, I was planning just to use this in the living room, but I'm now going to use this also when I'm testing PCs and everything too. It's a really nice uh, device to use. Now this is wireless and there are two ways to connect to it. So there is an older version of this keyboard that only connects via uh, a little dongle here that you plug into a USB port. Uh, but this one will connect to that, but also Bluetooth. So if you have an Android device or a PC or Mac, I think even iOS just with the keyboard portion uh, on iOS, you can uh, use this with regular Bluetooth. So as long, if it doesn't see this thing, so this is off on whatever computer it's plugged into or, or unplugged completely, uh, you can pair it up with Bluetooth and use it just like you would with the dongle. So it's pretty handy to have that. Uh, so what I do is I leave this inside my NVIDIA Shield TV, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, and then if I want to connect it with a Bluetooth device, I just make sure the Shield TV is off or I just pull the dongle out of the Shield and then it will immediately uh, default back to Bluetooth, which is very nice to have. It's also backlit. So if you are in the dark, you've got a very nice evenly backlit keyboard so you can see what keys you are typing. My only gripe with the keyboard is that you have to hit the function key down here to uh, transfer transfer a function key up here. So I think they uh, figured that most people would be using an Android TV box or some kind of home theater thing and might want to have access to some of the shortcut keys like, you know, repeat or the home button or something. So in order to hit a function key, you will have to do a two key uh, push here by holding down this one and pushing one up there. Uh, the trackpad is very nice. It works just as well as uh, some of the laptop uh, trackpads I have used. It is not a click pad though, so you have two mouse buttons down here in order to click with. It will, uh, if you do like this to the keypad or the trackpad, it will track a click, but it isn't very sensitive, which is a good thing. So there's not a lot of accidental clicking going on with this, at least in my testing so far. On the top here, you have another button. It's kind of funny. They have a hardware mouse button up here. So I, I guess maybe if you're, uh, you're using the trackpad this way and or with your thumb and you don't want to go down here to click something, you can hold down the button up here uh, to send a click while you trace something around. So that was a neat little feature they put on the top there. There is also a USB port for charging it. I haven't had any battery issues with it yet. I think this is probably something you'll get you know, a good length of time out of, maybe a week or more of regular usage, if not a month. Um, but if the backlight is on, obviously that will drain the battery faster, but it does feel pretty hefty. I think there's probably a decent battery inside of here. So I don't think battery life's gonna be an issue, but uh, just plug it into your phone charger whenever you wanna give it some boost. And then your power switch is here, so you can uh, flick it on and off right up here to get it uh, up and running. So pretty nice hardware design. I'm very happy with this design, actually, much better than I expected it was going to be. Uh, in fact, I'm now using this in the uh, studio and I'm testing PCs as my extra keyboard. It's really that good. So uh, what I wanna do now, though, is just show you how it works with an Android device. We'll use my NVIDIA Shield TV and we'll also plug it into my Mac so we can see how the Bluetooth works. All right, we're going to start with the NVIDIA Shield here. I'm going to just pop in the dongle into the back of the device here and then uh, power it up. And now you will see, uh, hopefully when everything comes back to life here, we've got our mouse pointer selected. Now, one thing with the Android TV interface is that you can't use the trackpad to uh, click on stuff. What we can do, of course, is use the keyboard. So we're going to go into my file explorer here. And I do want to uh, install something from uh, my uh, one of my memory sticks. So I'm just going to scroll down here. I can actually uh, probably just use the little gesture here to do that. I'll go to my USB drive and I just want to find this little Firefox APK I wanted to mess around with here. So I can go ahead and click on that. So a lot easier perhaps to use this method versus having to go out and uh, mess around with your TV remote or the game controller in order to get all this stuff working. So uh, pretty handy to uh, use there. So now what I'm going to do though is just pop out the dongle now and I'm going to turn the keyboard off and then turn it back on again. And because that dongle is disconnected, uh, it will default back to uh, Bluetooth. So here we go on my Mac. I don't know if you can see it. My mouse pointer is moving around and I can start typing on my keyboard here. And there you go. So you're able to very quickly switch back and forth uh, between devices. So that is the Logitech K830. And you know how much I love looking at keyboards on this channel. This is one of the better ones I've seen. Certainly not portable, but I didn't buy it for that. I bought it to use uh, with my TV in the other room, but also just as having a flexible keyboard that I can use. It's full size uh, just for all the stuff that I'm testing here in the studio. So really handy for both of those purposes. I may actually buy another one now that I think about it. Uh, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.